So you guys want to know what's in my camera bag, right? Okay, I'm gonna show you this in a second. My gosh, what a cliche video. I saw it many times, maybe a thousand times on YouTube. I'm just trying to get more views, to get more subscribers, because in three years I have only 3,000 subscribers, what's going on here? <laughs> and recently I watched many videos on the platform where people say how to get 1 million subscribers in 10 months. 10 months? 10 months? So it's been about 10 years that I started photography and honestly I never needed too many gear. Today guys I'm going to show you what I usually bring with me on a photo shoot and why I bring this. And I also use the Canon J7X Mark II that I'm filming with right now. Usually I give it to my assistant and he captures the behind the scenes. First of all, plastic sheets. Because I hate bags on the table. Don't do this, really. This is disgusting. So this is exactly how my bag is when I go on the set. Let's start directly with my main camera, the one I shoot everything with. Magazines, commercial, portraits everything the canon 1dx mark ii it's really a beast i love it i bought it two years ago and i'm really really glad i have it so the reason why the camera is so big is that instead of having the grip in two different parts like on the classic dslr in the range below you have a big battery who takes literally a big space of the camera do you see the size of the battery this is a really a big one so yeah and you can shoot two days three days if you take only photos yeah three consecutive days no problem but if you do video as well you have to charge i have two of those so just in case but usually i need only one if i take only photos on shoot but this is expensive this is like a 300 dollars usd for the one battery so i do all my settings in camera you guys know that i love black and white so everything in camera and in post-production usually i just change the exposure and contrast and uh, that's it good to go i don't need that much anymore also you can put a cfast card that i don't have i don't use it i don't need to use it so i'm just using a compact flash memory card which are here think tank 128 giga 64 usually just with the 128 giga you're good to go for the day on for two days of photos depend what you shoot of course but uh, and inside of this pocket i just added my business card so if i lose my bag if someone is checking everything to find where is my name there you go my second lens that i don't use a lot is the 50 mil 1.8 version 1 so i have it more than 10 years ago honestly i just used it when i purchased it just for a few months and then i stopped using it but two years ago i started to use it again i found it in my items it's rare but sometimes i, I use it so i really recommend this one if you just started photography it costs around 100 bucks now i think and it's really good well it's plastic but it's it does the work really okay so in this pocket my external hard drive normally i should tether it so I connect my camera to the laptop with this cable, which is really useful. I'm gonna explain to you why in a minute. So it's an Helicom Zero Shock. It's one tera of memory, and uh, yeah, it's really good, useful. So guys, everything that is in my bag right now, I put the, I put the links in the description below so you can purchase it. I have this to take off the dust of the camera inside the camera and everything. Helpful. A card reader that I use if for whatever reason I cannot shoot tethered. Uh, I like at the end of the, each photo shoot to show the photos to the client so he has an idea of what I created and everything. Even if during the shoot I'm already showing them the photos on my camera. This goes with me all the time as well. So yeah, second battery. You're probably wondering which camera is that. So this is a Polaroid, the Instax SQ6. The reason why I have this Polaroid camera is that at the end of each of my photo shoots I take two photos of the talent I just shot. All the time there is one for me and one for them. So yeah, the first one they signed it for me and the second I signed it for them. Um, for me it adds some value as a photographer I think when you take a Polaroid they're not expecting anything from you so when you give the on photo with your signature and the date for me it adds a good value to the photographer and it shows that you're not a random photographer because 
Why I give them a Polaroid of themselves with my signature? It means in a few years, in many years, this Polaroid will have more value. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, I use a Polaroid camera. And each person that I shoot, I ask them to write something personal on the pictures. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, but at least I have a signature. I started to take Polaroids only recently, so I don't have so much. The reason is when I will open my studio in a couple of years, I want to make a big wall at the entrance with all the Polaroids I took. And on this wall, I want all the photos of the people that I worked with in the past few years. So it's easy to ask if I can take a Polaroid of them, but it's really difficult to ask for a signature. So yeah, all the time I have to justify myself, otherwise they think I'm, I'm, I'm a fan, I'm a groupie or something. No way. So if you're still here, please subscribe and like this video, it helps a lot, really. This is the only way for me to that the YouTube algorithm recommend my videos to more new people. If you do this, I really appreciate it. So thank you very much. If you don't, the thank you is not for you. And remember, now I'm gonna upload one video every Tuesday, so please subscribe. <laughs> okay, enough talk, let's keep going. I am also using this Black Rapid uh, strap. You put it on your shoulder and your chest, and then you attach it and you're good to go. This is a really, really great one. It costs like $100 or something like this, maybe $80. Sometimes when I'm shooting on location, uh, I don't have any space to put my camera or if I'm walking for a long time, you just need to put this here and basically it's, you, you can move it. This is very helpful. I use it a lot. More mask, of course. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this tethering cable, um, which I use a lot, especially in studio or on location with the team, with the clients. The reason is simply that your client wants to see the photos while you are shooting. So uh, the best way to do that is to shoot tethered. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna plug this to your camera and the other USB port on your laptop, you open a software, capture one. You have to be careful, if you should tether it, it's better if you are in the studio because you have the table that you can move around with you. Uh, if you are on location, like in the streets, uh, be careful with that because the cable, uh, this one is like a three meters, I think. So I have some loose to, to move around. Some cables are just like one meter, two meters, or something like this, so you have to be careful. The best way to shoot tether outside is to have an assistant. I have an assistant who is um, holding my laptop while I'm shooting and he's moving around with me. It's yeah, what do you think? Mm. Ooh. So this place is way better. For yeah, 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 yeah. Much better. Okay, okay. I love that. Good. Let's go in. Like You're really dedicated. Yeah. Great. Oh, okay. 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 We have the cover, right? That's the cover. That's the cover. Very helpful. If you don't shoot tether, I recommend you to buy one and try if it works, if it's better for your workflow or not. I guarantee you it's the best way to make your clients happy on set. Also in this pocket, I usually put my laptop here. I also have a filter that I don't use a lot, but I plan to make a photo series with it pretty soon. This is a red filter. I think it's really good. I love it. For monochrome, it's perfect. In this one, I have an ND filter. I have a Canon remote. Pretty good if you want to take self-portrait. It's really, really good. So I told you your clients wants to see the photos while you're shooting, right? The two most famous softwares to shoot Tether are Lightroom and Capture One. Personally, I'm using Capture One because it synchronizes the photos faster than in Lightroom. Now, I don't recommend it if you're not professional because it's another monthly subscription that you have to pay. So if you're already using Lightroom, do with Lightroom. I'm not sure, but I think it costs around $20 a month or something like this. So if you're already paying Adobe CC like $60 a month and that you have to take capture one and add 20 bucks a month. I'm not sure it's worth it, so do your math and see if it's worth to take it or not. Okay, so now I want to know what camera do you use? Please let me know in the comments below and tell me what camera and why you chose this one. If you are currently using a Canon camera, I will understand because they're the best, so that's it. But in case if you're using another brand, please let me know why because I really have no idea of the models. I never tried any other brand than Canon, so. Yeah, let me know. So I didn't show you all my gear. I'm, I'm gonna make another video about all the cameras I have. If you want to see everything I have, please let me know in the comments as well. Put a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you in the next video, guys. Which will be next Tuesday. Bye. Maybe Friday, but not sure about this. <laughs>